Hello, I'm Tara Nico, and today we're going to be looking at the app called Kanji Senpai by Rodriguez JP. This app is rated for everyone, it's been downloaded 100,000 times, and currently has a rating of 4.3 in the Google Play Store. This app will help you learn and memorize Japanese vocabulary, Japanese language proficiency test, and more. The current version that I am running is version 2.2. .2. So let's go ahead and open it up. And the first thing it's going to do is welcome you. Okay, so after the after you do that, you want to update the lists and audio. And I need to download my N5 audio, which I have purchased. Now, what I like about this app is that it has a spaced repetition system. It helps you practice for the JLPT, the Japanese Language Proficiency Test. It has translations for English and Spanish and allows you to download premium audio packs recorded from a native speaker for $2.99 per level. Okay, so now that that's done downloading, what you want to do is you want to download your other lists. So we want to update the N5 and any other list that you want to study as well, say like the N4. And just to let you know that all uh, the JPLT is structured from N5 to N1, N5 being the easiest, N1 being the most difficult. So I strongly suggest that you start off with N5. Okay, so now that that's done, we can go ahead and select Manage. And we can see that we can check off which list that we want to study as well. So it added the terms to the list that we're going to study. So now we can hit our back button, back button again. And we're going to want to go into settings. And we can set our daily goal here for today. For the purpose of this video, we're, well, we're not going to do 180 minutes. We're going to do five minutes. And uh, you can also back up your data in Google Drive as well. And we can also handwrite, select which aspects to study. So we're going to also use the handwrite kind of words. We're going to check that off as well. Here we can change our brush size. And we can wait for the habits, change the settings for waiting for the pronunciation, alert to sound aspect, and all these good settings in here. We're going to go ahead and set our main language to English. I'm going to go ahead and set the back button, and let's go ahead and get started studying. <laughs> First one to get started. So what it does is it asks you whether or not you want to learn something. So you can either learn, select to learn it, or you can select to skip it. In this case, for this one, we're going to go ahead and learn it. Ichi. One. Ichi. Chikara. Chikara. Let's go ahead and learn that one Chikara. as well. Ichi. Ichi, meaning one. Mata. Mata. Again, and also still doing something. Mata. One which is itchy. Now I want to show you something interesting about this app is that it actually sets you up on a timer down here at the bottom and I want to show you what happens when you let that timer run out. What, and I'll go ahead and tell you now is that it actually shows a, a little hourglass in red that says hey you've ran out of time and then it's going to show us that this was the correct answer and it's going to force you to select it. So it's not going to let us move on until we select it. Ichi. Ichi. Ah. ah. Now, let's say that if you don't want to learn this one, you can actually go in here and select uh, I know it, and then select skip to review or do not study at all. I'm going to select do not study at all, and we're going to select all aspects, and then select OK. And we shouldn't see it again. Okay, so here it gives you a little tutorial. It says, now you have to draw one by one all the kanji of the current word. Use your finger or tablet pen to draw them. 
the check mark is the, is the finish and self-evaluate. This one right here is enter the kanji text. This one will show you how to draw the current kanji. This one will remove the last stroke. And this one will go back to the previous kanji, only if Word has several. So we're going to go ahead and select OK. And we actually ran out of time. But it says 1, so we're going to go ahead and draw it and then self-evaluate. And it'll sh show us this one as ours at the top. And this one is the one at the bottom. Now, if you are incorrect, you can go ahead and select this and say this would be for incorrect and this one was for correct. But for the purposes of showing you this for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and select OK. It's going to ask us to please try again. This button here will show you how to draw it correctly. And this one will here to erase. And this one here for to check to see if you're right. And we're just going to go ahead and press OK. So again, it shows you down here how much time you've completed. And it'll, every so often it will show you your uh, goal, how much you've actually achieved. You can check that off. Chikara. Chikara. Meaning for strength, might, vigor, or energy. Hitotsu. Hitotsu. Now, what's great about this app is that when it shows you a new term, it'll show you the it'll show you the on the onyomi reading and the kunyomi reading and the radical. So we're gonna go ahead and learn this one. Hitotsu. Again, and also still doing something. Mata. Mata. Force, strength, might, vigor, energy. Chikara, which is this one down Chikara. here. Un. Un. Yes, yeah, uh-huh. I'm going to go ahead and learn that one. Un. This one's going to be ichi, one. Ichi. And it says I've completed Ato da yo. of my goal. I'm going to go ahead and continue. Chikara. Hitotsu. Hitotsu, meaning one thing. Mata. Mata again, and also still doing something. Shichi. Shichi. This is seven. We're going to go ahead and learn Shichi. that one as well. Un. Yes, yeah, uh-huh. Un. Un. Ichi. Ichi. Meaning one. Strength, might, vigor, energy. Now, let's say that you didn't know how to draw this one. You can just go ahead and select the question mark and it'll show you. And you can go ahead and check that off. And looks pretty close to me. Chikara. Ghost means that you took too long. So, one thing, so hitotsu. And we're going to select this one to go to the next one. And then zoo. We're going to self evaluate. And it looks pretty good to me. Hitotsu. Mata. Again, and also still doing something. Mata. Shichi. Or nana. Which is seven. Looks pretty close to me. Chichi. Ato mo ippo. Un. Un. Yes, yeah, uh huh. One. Hitotsu. Ichi. Or ichi. Okay, so this one is chikara. Poor strength, might, vigor. Chikara. Okay, so this is one thing, so that's that's going to be hitotsu. Hitotsu. 
また。また。七。七。or n a n a or seven. So that's going to be seven. Un. So this is going to ask you to draw un. And it'll show you how it expects you to draw un. Looks pretty close to me. Un. One. Just a straight line. Ichi. Chikara. Chikara. Four strength might figure. Hitotsu. Hitotsu. Mata. Mata. Again, and also still doing something. Shichi. Shichi. Un. Yes, yeah, uh huh. Un. Yoku de kimashita. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Ja, matane.